You're watching Mr. Tony of the Dad's Reviews. <laughs> Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I have another movie review for everybody out there. This one's on a movie called Don't Torture a Duckling. This is from Arrow Video USA, and it's from Lucio Fulci. What this is about, it's about these young boys from a small village, and they end up going missing, and then they end up being found dead. And now all the blame is being pointed toward this local witch and she uh, is uh, has gone missing as as well nobody can find where she's gone and also uh, you know obviously the police are on the case and a local journalist along with this rich spoiled girl they're actually on trying to find the killer as well so everybody's trying to find out who the killer is before more blood is spilled now, I'll admit, I haven't seen a lot of Fulci movies, and the one that I have seen, and I've mentioned this in the past, the one that I, you know, I should say everybody has seen and for some reason loves is Zombie, and I'm not a big fan of that, but I have seen other Fulci movies that I really did enjoy, and this one I, I liked, and it's kind of weird to say I liked it because of the kids getting killed. I obviously didn't like that part. That's very difficult for me to watch, being that I am a father with a young child, and you know, just seeing young boys in this getting killed. I mean, they're they're older than my son is now, but still, it's very difficult to see, and I, nobody nobody likes to watch that. You know, I'm sure nobody likes to see that, and I, I you know, that's the difficult part of this movie to watch. It is a giallo. It is a you know a mystery. You have to figure out who it is there's a lot of twists and turns in this movie and the big reveal um was kind of shocking as well and kind of kind of scary uh it didn't i kind of didn't see it coming i think at one point in time i might have thought this person was the killer and then i was like no nah, i dismissed it you know i thought it can't be and turns out they were i say this once in a while with a movie when they you know have children that are getting killed in it and you know they did it in a tasteful way i always say that it's like a tasteful way um as as tasteful as you can get i guess they don't actually show the kid getting killed you just see like the, the after after effect you know like uh just the body which it, it's horrible you know because they could be drowned they could be buried they could you know find them as other all cert certain ways and as much as I don't want to see it, I'd rather just see that than the actual kid getting hit. And, you know, I know this is, you know, 2017 and this kind of stuff ha has been happening forever. But, you know, who likes it? Who likes to see it? Not me. I didn't really recognize anybody in this movie. In fact, I didn't recognize anybody except for one person in this movie. And that was Barbara Boucher. I guess that's how you say it. She was in... The Red Queen Kills Seven Times. I wanted to make sure I got that title right. Um, which is also an Arrow release. And, uh, you know, a pretty decent movie. So I recognized her in this. And she plays a totally different part. From what I remember in, in uh, you know, The Red Queen Kills Seven Times. I think she was kind of like a, like a pushover kind of character. She was very shy and everything. And this one, she's outgoing. And, and uh, she it, there's even a little, like, especially with her part little bit of pedophilia um this is kind of a pedophile but she you never see her doing anything but she just gives off that impression and especially like little boy like the young boys like uh do you want a kiss do you want money or do you want a kiss they ask the one kid you know do they want to do it with her i think it's more of a tease but like it just comes off like that like she's a pedophile and it's kind of like kind of crazy you know like think that that's in a movie there is a lot of brutal violence in here though like i said you don't see it toward the kids obviously that is brutal violence as well but there is some toward adults the image on here was you know it looked really nice to me and i was always i say i watched with the closed captions captions were good i thought the movie you know the volume wise it was you know done very well uh you know i i didn't have to turn up the tv to blast and sometimes you know you get a movie and it's very low especially when they talk and then uh you know 
at a certain part where there's action it's like boom like it blasts off but it didn't do that with this everything was like a good medium and yeah i had to read the words and everything but that didn't take away from the movie at all I, at least i didn't feel like that it did sometimes i know that can happen but it didn't for me in this movie and i i again i admit i haven't seen a ton of giallo movies but i have seen some and i'd say this is one of my favorite ones uh i think it was a good mystery and um you know, it, like I said, a lot of twists and turns kept you guessing, and it kept your attention. Even though you had to read, it did keep my attention. So, you know, thumbs up for that one. Movie came out in 1972, and I, I will admit, when I first saw the title for this, like, Don't Torture a Duckling, I didn't know what to expect. Obviously, I read the back, and then I got a little better, a little better of an idea. But just the, the title, I, I, it doesn't sound like something I would want to watch. And, you know, being that it's Fulci... And, uh, you know, it's a good Fulci movie. Again, I know I get probably cursed at for not liking Zombie, but I've tried to like it and I just don't. But this one time watch and I liked it and I would watch it again. As you can see, there is a lot of special content on here. A lot of interviews, a lot of older interviews, and there is also things that are only found on the Blu-ray disc. And this new artwork, which I do really like, is from Timothy Petides, if I'm saying that right. And uh, the cool thing is, this is just the slipcover for, for the Blu-ray, for the case. And how it comes out like this, it has like a red underneath. I just think, when I first saw that, I thought, wow, that's beautiful. I just thought that was like so gorgeous and those colors really mesh together very well and there you get a little bit better picture i kind of like the brown better i think the red is a little too bright but i do like that they have the, the sleeve as a different color and then of course this is the original artwork in here and uh i'll be <laughs> i'm not a fan of it i don't know what it is but i just don't i'm not a fan of it i like i like this but i just don't like all the jumbled pictures it just doesn't I don't know it just doesn't work for me but I, I definitely like the newer artwork better and here you have the blu-ray which is obviously the new artwork the other one has the DVD has the same artwork but has the brown artwork which I would have I don't know it's not a, a big difference or anything it's not even like it matters but I would have rather seen the brown on the blu-ray I don't know why it's just me but of course you get a booklet here as well and right there you could tell that's a child's skull and that's you know kind of disturbing right away in fact this is disturbing as well even though it looks fake you know it's supposed to be you know a child and you know just contents and you know casting crew the usual things interviews and stuff like that and there's barbara well there's barbara <laughs> she's a very very beautiful woman um and then you know just about the transfer and all that kind of stuff and there's the back one thing I mentioned too about the slip cover is that it, it kind of has like a a grittiness to it, not like incredibly like gross feeling or anything. It doesn't feel gross at all. I don't want to say that it feels gross, but it has this like like a grittiness. It's not exactly smooth, and it's kind of neat. It kind of looks like it should actually have that kind of texture to it. It's uh, actually a very, very nice, very cool feeling. It's a different slipcover than the other ones that Arrow has put out. Um, I know, like, there's certain slipcovers that they put out, like I said, it feels like a rose petal or like a flower petal to me. Then there's this one that's, like, kind of gritty. And then there's just smooth ones. And so it's kind of neat that there's a variety of them. And I think based on this cover, because this just kind of reminds me of dirt, I think that kind of goes with it very well. But I would say... It's kind of weird, too, that I, I say that I like this movie, uh, considering what goes on in it. And um, But I think it was done very well. I really did enjoy it. It's a, definitely a Jalo. If you like Jalos, definitely check this one out. Um, it'll keep you guessing until the end. And then, like I said, the big reveal, it's, it's kind of shocking. And, uh, you know, worth a watch. I definitely think it's worth a watch. And uh, so, yeah, give it a try. See what you think. But that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and follow me on any of the social media links below. Also, check out the trailer for this in the description box and where you can go and purchase it if you want. That's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.